In this video, Google Slides, how to set up the presentation slide titles and hide them should you need to. This was a question yesterday from Korea Pharma, if I've said this right, thank you very much, about another Google Slides thing. Just a question, do you know if it's possible to rename the slide's name so it doesn't appear as a number when you select the slide in the control bar? This is kind of exactly what I've just demoed for myself on the left me being the laziest person on planet Earth never bothers to do it right and I get a load of blanks there. If I apply a certain technique I can actually get a title as needed on everything on the right. What this actually means is when you produce or make a new slide there are what three, six, nine, ten, eleven options. Similarly on the right all of those translate correctly into slide number titles should you need them. The only one that doesn't, which might be pretty obvious, is the word blank. So number 16 here on my test was, um, well I didn't, I put text in but it didn't work, meaning that it was blank because text boxes don't show up. So title slide look is test title slide, section header, section header, you get the idea. If you do this, that's quite a good thing. Now there are some tips and techniques here. What you see on this slide is a demonstration with William Blake and the tiger. You can clearly see that the tiger by William Blake is on the top and it's readable in the presentation. Slide 5 says exactly that. This one look says the tiger by William Blake but it's hidden. So what that actually means is when we go through it is showing up as slide 6 which is the tiger um, as a title but I put the word hidden because I've had to do something a little bit um, sneaky and that was what I actually did and this is just a, um, a copy of the slide as a, an image is I wrote the tiger by William Blake but I put it behind the images so therefore it's hidden so if you go back again look the audience sees this on screen but really I know that if I wanted to find it in a hurry I need to just to click and I've got it um, as a title. Get the idea that it's actually text hidden. You can do that in another way by making it the same colour as your background and obviously the audience won't see it but you will know it is there. So look, just swapping over a tiny bit as a small tip, if you right click on any slide here you can actually skip the slide and it puts a very very nice um, eyeball with a line through it to say that this will not go through your presentation, it won't show to the audience unless you actually request it in the slide uh, sorter, if you like, in the presentation mode. For an example, look, we've got it here where it says slide 4 in this ex example was hidden. If you click on it, it will show up, which is really nice if you're doing a duplicate set. So look, there we go. If I wanted to go through these and just go through to see how these tests work, it's really not that interesting to the talk. What I have demonstrated is how it works. Here's one. So we can look here onto the next one where I've got Mike Downs, which is my outro slide, number 20 look. Number 20 is outro 2 and then I've got another outro. So what I'm actually doing there is I'm making a, let me just put it up, in this area where the laser pointer is going, in black it actually says the words YouTube outro, which will be clearly on slide 21, not YouTube outro, but because it, well, the previous one was black, you don't see it. So that's another little tip. So look, I think we don't need to do too much here apart from to say, this was Google Slides, how to set up a complete blank area in the titles to something that you can actually work with. And that was something from a audience question, which was, can we rename these things? There is a right click where you can apply layout to certain things as well, which is quite nice. I won't demo that on this video because I just want to end and make it quite short. Have a lovely day. Well, that's it, isn't it? Okay, bye.